products I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Um, I just bought this product from Alibaba. It was shipped all the way from Hong Kong. It's a MPPT solar charge controller. Um, it just arrived today and I'm just going to be taking you guys through the through the unboxing process just before I start with that I thought I should just um, share the Alibaba page where I bought it uh, with you guys and as you can see these are the images of the chat controller I'm not sure if this is GAE or CAE I'm sure about that but this is what I received definitely today and uh, maybe I can play the video here as well so you guys can see um the uh, video display uh, i just want to make sure this part is very quick so i'm just going to take you through it they have different ranges um normally you will have just in one box uh, it already comes with a module that can auto detect 12 volt 24 volt 36 and 48 volts and you have different series 60 80 100 amps and 120 amps now this is the price uh, for the products and you have to include the shipping uh, if you're shipping down to UK and this should be the total now this is not actually the total this is just the total value of the cost of the product and the shipping and then you need to add VAT on it now what before you make this payment they will ask you to put the VAT on it and uh, when uh, the product arrives in the UK you will need to pay for the clearance and broker fee something like that so the total uh, cost of the product can actually go up to 280 pounds or $280 um, yeah $280 or probably $300 I'm not very certain about that right now so let's just go through some of the basic spec of this particular product um, some more images coming through go through the spec directly so the way you look at it you look at the range that you want to purchase so for example i bought the one of the 60 amp uh the maximum charging current will be 62 but on a safe zone it's better to be uh to, to to just stick to that 60 amp as the maximum and if you're using a 24 volt system in terms of battery the maximum um uh, solar array that you can put on this charge controller will be 900 watts 24 24 volt system and you're using the 16 amp one is going to be 1700 watts and the same thing for the other um, other spec uh, 36 48 and 96 um well basically there's nothing much more to share about this thing and uh, what we're going to do right now is to start the uh, live unboxing process so you can see the uh, the product itself and uh, the manual and the other things thank you hi guys welcome to this new unboxing episode uh, this is a new chat controller I'm planning to add um, a new solar array to my configuration so I decided to purchase this uh, solar chat controller MPPT uh, from Hong Kong and just arrived today I'm going to be opening this for the first time MPPT of 50, 60, and 80 amp series. I actually bought the one of the 60 amp. Get out of the shop. Now, I'm going to share with you the dimension and everything later on, but currently, this is what I've got uh, the protectors. And I've got the manual 
and inside the manual I've got some kind of screwdriver so I've got the, the manual here it's actually it is actually unbranded but when I saw it on, the, on Alibaba it was branded as something like CAE or EAE or EAC I'm not sure exactly what it is at the moment but we've got the manual and, uh, and I think uh, this is the temperature temperature sensor I've got a screwdriver I'm not sure what that is going to be useful for now but I'm sure it's going to be useful at some point here I've got a little interface so I'm suspecting that this is what I'm going to be using the screwdriver to screw to the solar charge controller let me pop this back in temporarily so that I don't lose any part of it now let's take the charge controller from the from the rack here we are yeah, as I said, something is actually written on it. Is it C A E or G A E? I'm not sure about that, but it says uh, one inverter don't come. Um, there's a, I, I believe there should be an interface somewhere here. It is kind of uh, metallic. It is unlike the ones that I currently have that are kind of plastic. This is kind of metallic. And right here there is a fan let me check the specification of the fan 12 volts and it's going to be consuming around um, 0.35 amps so 12 volts consumption is going to be 0.35 amps uh, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up very well or if it is going to be quite necessary to shear but that is what we've got right here and on the side now here we've got the I hope this is clear enough let me see what I can do all right so as I was saying 60 amps the battery voltage is auto it can detect 24 12 24 and 48 the maximum input voltage for your solar array which is the open circuit voltage will be 150 volts and the recommended module power if you're using 12 volt system the maximum solar panel strings that you can put on this will be 900 watts if you're using 24 it's going to be 1700 watts if you're using 48 is going to 48 volts is going to be 3400 now here is talking about the recommended input voltage range so so basically it says the maximum input voltage is 150 however if you're using 12 volts it says that your solar panel array shouldn't should be within the range of 18 to 60 Volt and if you're using 24, it should be between 36 to 72. So, if you're connecting your solar array in strings, you need to ensure sorry, if you're connecting your solar array in series, you need to ensure that it does not exceed uh, 72 volts if you're using 24 volts, and the same thing for 12 volts and for 48 volts, then the range can be between 72. To 144 volts maximum output current is 60 amps so make sure your solar panel strings or array does not the amount of amps coming out of it does not exceed uh, the 60 amps so uh, let's look at some of the interfaces that we've got here all right here is where I'm going to connect the temperature sensor and right here is this, uh, are the solar panel terminals for the battery, the DC load, and here I can connect it to the computer uh, to see uh, how much um, input and output or whatever data that is coming through 
this charge controller. Uh, right here we've got some buttons. Uh, menu button, we've got that up and down, up and down, and we've got enter. And here when it is charging, you will see the light. Let me focus on this. Yeah, when it's charging, you see the light here. When you have the DC load connected, then you have the DC load charging and you have the menu button here that you can use to control it and the fan. So that's about it for now. Here, I believe there should be something right here. And I think we can open it right away. Let me get my screwdriver. Do I have one on the standby? here there you go so well there's nothing much here basically let me try to focus it in so this is where the screws are when you're putting in the uh, your cables you can just use this one to tighten it properly and the other flap that fell the cover that I was took up just now is just to protect this side which is interesting so that will conclude the end of this unboxing process the next part you're gonna be see, seeing uh, I'll be doing a lot of um, uh, it, it's gonna be in series basically I'll be doing a lot of modules in this series that I'll be sharing everything that you need to know about solar uh, system configuration including cost including um, making that determination whether it is uh, it's gonna be profitable for you or if it's gonna be counterproductive um, if you want to go solar uh, I'm gonna share my own perspective uh, other people may not hold that particular perspective but this is based on uh, my experience so far um, I think it's just gonna whatever information is gonna help you to make your own determination as to how you want to proceed uh, whether it's gonna be something you want to do or whether you just want to forego it